Tap into IFL.TV. Log on and step inside the ring. Honestly, to fight, uh, to take that kind of a fight on such a short notice, you have to have a huge heart. And in the moment that he agreed right away, I knew we would have a tough opponent for Matsuchenko, you know. So even though he didn't train with us, I knew he belonged to the pit bulls, you know. Man, let me tell you one thing. Fighting at home, it's a different ball game. And I think uh, that was my dream, you know. I always, since I, I live in Rio, my dream was always to walk in the Maracanã Stadium, which is a stadium the size of this one in my hometown and fight for my crowd at home. It never happened down there. It happened once in a small arena and we end up in a riot. And I think you guys watched that on <laughs> the best moments in video ever, you know, 400 people fighting at the same time. But finally, when I got here, and I've been living here for 11 years, and I feel like this place, like New Jersey, is my home, New York and New Jersey. And to fight in front of my home crowd with uh, seeing familiar faces and friends sitting around was unbelievable. Like, I couldn't, I was in a, in a state of ecstasy. Like, I was really loving and enjoying this, this special moment. And I think it was everybody else, even my angry fellow here who has a lot of hate in his heart, but <laughs> you see, like, he's able to smile. Look, look, I told him, like, I, I don't know if you guys saw that moment, but when we were in the corner and everything was, like, he was getting ready to go and the ref was in the middle. I look at him, I say, give me just a smile and I'll be happy. I see him going, mm. <laughs> you know? He really didn't believe he hit the spot. You know, he knew his, the guy's future generation would be guaranteed. He said, he, actually, it wasn't that good of a shot, you know? <laughs> it's, uh, I really believe jiu-jitsu is the main art for this sport. If you don't have a good quality jiu-jitsu, you can win a couple and you're going to lose a couple. Like one of the, um, one of the main examples of that was the first guy that actually fought for us, Joe St. Pierre. He's a Muay Thai teacher. And every time we have a chance, we had a spot, we bring him in, you know. His jiu-jitsu is getting better, but the moment that he fought a good jiu-jitsu guy, he, he was choked right away. And I really believe the base of MMA, it's, it's jiu-jitsu. And when we train jiu-jitsu, I don't know if you guys realize, we create this sport. And we are the spine of this sport. Jiu-jitsu is the spine of this sport. So whatever you say, like, believe it, I was fighting when I was in the sandbox at five years old to make sure that that sandbox was mine. So to us, it's just another day in, in our business. And to believe that what we do, it's not MMA. It's not to believe in the sport at all. The arm bar was, it was on, it wasn't that tight though. Uh, and you know, me straining was, was picking him up. <laughs> and then when I slammed him down, I, that, that released the arm bar and that's when he rolled over and gave me his neck. So. I, I guess it was exciting. I don't, you know, I, <laughs> I don't know. He set the pace for the victory, <laughs> definitely. But I, I, up to now, I didn't know he speak. He has a tongue. God damn. <laughs> he's always quiet. <laughs> I don't even know he's in the room when we're training. <laughs> Tim, you had to know what you were getting into by fighting Bilotti and doing it on such a short notice. Even though you got a loss, like, how do you feel personally about your skills now uh, with a litmus test like, like Vladimir? Uh, I wouldn't have showed up if I didn't think I was tough. Um, I wanted to win the fight. I think I had opportunities to. If I were able to put a couple punches together, I think the outcome would have been different. Being a fighter, I'd I'm not really scared of anybody. I think I showed that tonight. I'll, I'll get in the ring with whoever. Um, a little more training, a little more boxing. That, that fight would have ended differently. Um, I knew it was tough coming in, but I thought I could handle it, and I think I did. I think I did a pretty good job of it. I train uh, all the time, uh, like a uh, month together with the IFL team with Renza, but I got noticed like a week before. But I was training. I like when he says I'm my shape. name. Sounds good. How is it? Renza. Renza. <laughs> <laughs> Very good accent. <laughs> I was training together one month. I was ready just. She gave me notice week before and that's it. I watched a couple of tapes. 
We set the game plan. That's it. And he's always ready to fight. He's always angry. Never see nobody as angry as him. Yeah, now he's smiling. I cannot even believe. Stay with the game Yeah, exactly. Everything exactly go like. I thought like we set up the game plan. Stay away from his uh, power punch. Uh, drive towards uh, towards my right. Uh, stay away from his power. Don't try to take him in the first round. Let him explode, explode, and get him in the second, third round. That's all. The, 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 the future? I would play the lottery. I wouldn't be fine. <laughs> I don't know, I think as a team it really doesn't matter because, you know, I, I'm sure I'm going to train and try to get ready for it. Andre will train and get ready for it. Andre's already beat him once before. Um, so, you know, I don't think regardless of who fights, uh, you know, we got to put a good person up front. Um, you know, Mike's a very good fighter. Uh, I'm excited and I want to fight him, but, you know, I got to see where, I'm gonna, where my body's going to be. But my plan right now is to is a fight. An interesting situation coming out. Let's say everybody come, come uh, back healthy. All of a sudden you have Fabio, Jamal, and Eric back and, well, hey. Uh, I just let them decide. Them. They will decide on the mat. They will go at each other, see who's better for the for the task. And they have common sense, believe it. I, We have a family. We don't have a, a team. I have no interest financially in none of them. It's I teach them because I love it. I'm involved in this because I love it. And I think they feel that and they understand we are there to, to achieve a goal. So they know who's better to be in there. And they will push the right team in and let them decide. For sure. Um, Hanzo, will, will we, in the future seasons of the IFL, will we ever see a, a, one of your brothers or one of your cousins? Oh, definitely. Definitely, definitely. We have some young kids coming out real soon. We have a Hollies, we have Grego, we have Igor. You know, they are my young cousins, and I protect them a little. To, it's like I'm always more worried for them. Than, they all live in New York and train with me, yeah. And we have another boy called uh, Halleck. Who, no, Halleck, who's very tough. He's so many R's. <laughs> Halleck, he's training with us. He's originally from Hawaii. He's, uh, he's a young boy, purple belt. He's getting his knowledge, and he'll be fighting a lot, too. Uh, First one goes for, uh, for submission of the night. It goes to Dan Miller. Oh. Yeah. And because he had the fastest finish, he also... Oh, the Xbox. Man, that's a lot, buddy. All right, well, David has got fight of the night. Nice. Wow. Also in the IFL, when someone uh, when someone does something a little extraordinary, we have an MVP of the night, and that's a trip uh, from Sandals Resort. It's fully paid for and a guest, and that's also goes to the Venus. Nice. Sandals. No vacation out. Oh, I never seen that award before. <laughs> Got to fight. Nice. Good point. Tap into IFL.tv. Log on and step inside the ring.